All right, in this video, we're going to take a look at animating an alpha channel for keyframing graphics. And as you can see, we have the Red Rider title. It's a PNG file with an alpha channel. So this will show up, and uh, Media Composer will let you know that it has an alpha channel. So the first thing that we need to do so we don't overwrite our video is we want to patch our, our tracks to the Video 2 channel above our Video 1. And as you can see, make sure to have all of your audio deselected so you're not overriding any of your audio. So we're going to go to where we want our title. We're going to go about right here. And we will hit the I for the N, and we'll go to an out point, and we'll hit the O for out. And then the next thing that we need to do is hit the B key for uh, overwrite edit. And there we have. our graphic. So if we wanted to snazz this up a little bit, we could do that. We would need to go into our effect mode and want to affect the scaling. So what we'll do is can scrub this to the end and at this point we want to be let's say at this point we want to be at 100% so we could add a keyframe and then we could drag it back to the beginning of the clip and we'll add a keyframe and at this keyframe we will go to our scaling and we'll hit the fixed aspect ratio so we're affecting both the height and the width at the same time. And then we can bring this back. And then if we take a look at that, it will resize to 100%. So if we wanted to make an adjustment to that, let's play it and see how it looks. A little off schedule. Let's say that that was a little too fast for us. We could go back, click on our effect mode, we could go to our keyframe and hold down the Alt key, and that will allow us to st stretch that out. Off schedule. Let's look at another way. So we'll just delete this and again we will add our endpoint and our out point we'll hit the B key and then we can move towards the end of this or at this cut point and we can use our add edit function. And as we do that, it will break our clip in half. So then these keys basically, if we double click on that and see that the effects can be nested here within this. So let's actually go to our effects image to flip and we'll apply that and it flips it but it's only doing one part of the alpha mat so we'll take that flip and we'll apply it to the next and you can see both those are flipped you can see how these levels collapse collapse it back down and then we'll go to our next clip and with this one, I'm going to go ahead and add 3D 
element to it. So go to the bottom here and hit this 3D box. And now that we have that, we can go back to the front of our clip and put a keyframe down and move to the end of our clip, put another keyframe. So let's go back to this one and what we could do is we could actually have it have it peel onto the screen like a page curl. Um, could make it into a ball and come out. And make it slats. Let's look at the So we can see that would what that effect would do. So if we want to change this again, we can grab this with our Alt key. Let's drag it back. Let's take another look at that. There, let's do that. So basically we come from here back together. There you go. That's pretty cool. So let's take a look at that. So we have that and then it comes together. Mm, that's not quite right. So what we could do is we could actually take this clip and we could trade trade places with it and let's hold the command key and snap to this point if we want we could choose both of these and drag them back okay let's take a look how this looks mm -hmm. so I'm sorry. Cool. Well, so I'm sorry. So there's a myriad of things that you could actually do. So anyway, that's how we do keyframing for these. And if you're doing more complex effects, you can use the add edit to break your clips apart. But just know that you can add keyframes, make any changes you want, and that you can make these 3D elements by clicking on this 3D button here, and that always will give you a lot more choices of what you can do with your clip. So go ahead and experiment with this. There's tons of things, as you can see, that you could try, and uh, have fun with it.